Hey, this is Sarah from Tone Deaf, and I'm here with the Peep Temple. Welcome. Thank you. Did I say that right? I feel like I'm saying your name yeah, wrong because it's spelled like so E-L instead. Like. So why, why is it spelled? Like, where did the name come from? Um, it was a uh, strip club in Vienna, oh. and um, the sign out the front had uh, a girl dancing and then skulls and crossbones underneath it. So we thought it was a pretty cool, you know, cool spelling, spelled, you know, in the German German way. So we... Um, so we spelt it that way, and for the last four or five years, it's been, you know, can't you spell? <laughs> it's not spelt like that, but, uh, you know, it looks good. And so you guys went to this strip club, or you've just seen pictures of it? No, we just saw pictures, <laughs> we must admit. We, we tried to go last year when we were in um, Europe. We were over there doing a tour, um, and about three months before, it had been turned into a restaurant. So we, we were going to do the pilgrimage down to the club and try and play some shows. When we finally got in contact with them, it was a restaurant and uh, our, our little hearts were a little bit broken. Ah, so, so you couldn't um, go and play in the restaurant doing a little acoustic yeah. no. set maybe? Bus get the front. A, a <laughs> lady made a, a, a documentary about it, uh, the actual club, and we, we contacted her to see if we could get a copy of the documentary and she just said no. So really? Yeah, it was just quite strange. I think why it was make a documentary and then not well, give it to anyone? Well, I think it, it was for a film school or something like that. But yeah, right. um, she was very suspicious as to why we would want it, and um, yeah, said no. Which was who, a bit who are these dirty rockers from yeah, Melbourne right. that want yeah. my documentary? Yeah. So take us back to the start of the band. Like, when did you guys form? And uh, two thousand and nine. Yeah. Steve and I we started as a two piece. Stu's been in two years now. Yeah, two yeah. years. So. Um, Steve and I, I had a, we lived in these old uh, sort of, I suppose they were slums in North Melbourne and uh, Steve lived in one of them and I lived in the other and we set up one of the top rooms, a bit of a party room and, and jam room and just were having parties there and, and set up some recording equipment and would, and would play and um, yeah, it was, it was just, it was a really good summer. Yeah. And, like, so we just and it turned played, into a band. Yeah, played heaps of music, you know, drank heaps of Mexican beer and, you know, and ate pizza. And uh, yeah, just and wrote amazing music. Yeah, yeah. Well, we thought it was amazing. <laughs> I like the music. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. And then you guys have released an album and an EP this year. Nah, the no? album came out last year. It was last in year February? Yeah, and and the, and EP, the EP came out in June, I think this yeah. year. Yeah. So, so you guys toured the album through Europe last year. Yep. Ah, oh, amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. like, how many dates did you go on for the European 16 tour? Sixteen. Yeah, something like dates. that. Yeah. Huge. So we did um, Germany. Um, Holland, um, Jean F- Leon in France, France and uh, what was that shit country I was uh, always complaining about? Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very expensive. And the yeah. label, your label, Wing Sing, yep. is that your own label or is that um, like an international label? No, it's a, uh, by a fellow by the name of uh, Adam Gorton. Yep. It's um, his label. He's uh, just a independent label from Melbourne. Um, we're the only band on it at the moment, but, uh, you know... Hopefully that that can grow for him, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's going really well, and uh, Adam's up here with us this weekend, so hopefully making some more contacts and yeah, uh, yeah. and and this expanding. Is, is this your first big sound like um as obviously yeah. playing, but like even coming up and being yeah, part yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so what 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 are your expectations? Like, what are you? Um, well, the shows are going to be a lot of fun, <laughs> and just the weather. I'm just going to get so sunburnt. I know I shouldn't do that, <laughs> but um, I thought you were going to say I'm just going to get so no drunk. Idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll probably get sunburnt because I'm drunk, but no, I'm going to try and keep it together a little bit because you know you never know. Uh, you know who, who might be watching. Who yeah. might be watching? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that guy. Just keep a lid on it. Yeah. I think being so. a rock and roll band. Can I call you rock and roll? Do you, you guys yeah, call yeah, yourself rock, rock and roll? roll, band, roll yeah. Band. You can probably get away with that. Yeah, we can you? do whatever we like. So we know that, and that's what we'll do. So, yeah. yeah. So get drunk, <laughs> yeah. be merry, lots of rock out, you know, right swimming. Rock and roll band. Can you swim in the river? <laughs> I reckon you probably could. It'd yeah, be pretty it looks clean. Swimmable. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, um, and what's the plan for the rest of this year, and then looking forward to 2014? Um, we're in pre-production at the moment for the new album. So. Um, you guys don't muck around. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah, you got to keep them coming. So yeah, um, yeah we'll uh, we'll have that done pretty soon well by christmas um then we'll have a maybe a month or something off chill out go to the beach that sort of thing um and then we'll just work out when we're going to put it out uh, it'll be early next year yeah, cool. and then um yeah work out getting back overseas to the states this time as well so yeah cool uh, we've got a um some contacts over there that we're looking into um yeah getting over and doing a tour so and hopefully japan is well on the way so start <laughs> start with big ideas yeah and, you know 
uh, whittle them down if we have to. But yeah, that's it. So record out early next year and then more touring. So awesome. Well, yep. we'll keep an ear out for that. Cool. Um, we're going to finish off just with um, something a little fun yep. um, where you get to actually play with the animals. Oh, great. Before. So um, <laughs> you can have that one. Do you want to give it a little test? <laughs> you can have that one, it's not as impressive. Thank you. Oh. Anyway, we're just going to do a little <laughs> quiz. There's no prize, you're playing for pride. Oh, so this is the buzzer. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, your okay, buzzer. Cool. Against yep. each other. Yep. Uh, you know, be as you know, competitive <laughs> as you like. Ruthless. <laughs> yeah, ruthless. So I'm going to start off with a true or false question. The Beatles performed before the Rolling Stones. True or false? <laughs> false. <laughs> no, it's actually true. I'm trying to be ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's actually so true. It's a 50-50. Okay, yeah. here's another one, but it's not true. Is he minus one now? Yeah, he's minus one. Sweet. Yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. We should yeah. make it minus. Yeah. Minus no. one. Minus <laughs> one for you. The ruthlessness <laughs> is coming out. Which band holds the record for winning the most ARI awards in one night? Per jet. No, think more pop. Pop or just... Powderfinger? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poppy. Um, Kylie? Savage Garden. Oh, okay. And how many? Do you want to take Eight. a hundred? Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Ten. <laughs> 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 That's a strange thing we both went Yeah, they won 11. ten awards in yeah. one night. Yeah. Huge. Another wow. true or false? Madonna, Michael Jackson, and Prince were all born in the same year. False. <laughs> True. <laughs> Do you know what year it was? Um, 1958. Bingo. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Did you just totally guess that? That's probably or a plus two. Like out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, that's a plus two for sure. It seemed, yeah. Um, what is Jay-Z's real name? Carl, you guys look like hip hop fans for uh, sure. Something Carter. Are, I don't know. Sean Corey Sean. Carter. <sighs> and one last question: Who wrote the theme song to Friends? I'll be I'll be there for you. And <laughs> and you get bonus points if you can sing it. <laughs> no I don't idea. know who wrote it. <laughs> um, Stewie will sing it though for a plus for Do a plus four. Do you know the song? And a victory. <laughs> You could sing it with the pig. Maybe the pig can. I'll be there for you. <laughs> That's all I know is the start. <laughs> yeah. That's what it sounds like to my ears. Yeah. <laughs> it was by the Rembrandts. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for coming Cheers. and spending some time with us no today. No worries. Thank Enjoy you very much for having us. Enjoy Big Sound and don't get too sunburned. No worries. <laughs>